Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We uh, have the AR loaded up. Last week, actually, Saturday, we were supposed to go to the uh, little show we're having at TSC, but it um, got rained out. So we couldn't do much about that. But oh, look how dirty this thing is. It needs a good wash. My goodness, I don't have a hose long enough to get out here. Um, <coughs> oh, yeah, we we're supposed to go to the TSC show. They got washed out. I had this loaded ready to go already, but um, got washed out. So, I don't know, what can we do? So, we're just gonna open those, get ready for firing up out there. We, uh, well, yeah, we're ready to go. Um, my stepdad here is got his stuff ready. Ooh, it's all under the cover. Don't know what's in there yet. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, he'll be out soon, I would imagine, to. Uh, to get his truckload, I guess I better pull mine out because I think he's going to have to uh, back in here and then hook up and then out. He did it that way, so it's harder for someone to take, you know. But uh, anyways, let's um, fire up, let him warm up a bit, and uh, we'll head her out. We uh, really need to clean the radiator too, I guess, the screen on this. It uh, sucks some stuff in, I guess, and it's a bit dirty, but... Um, Oh well, we'll get her. We'll get her clean, but we'll take her out to the show today. And <clears throat> it's supposed to be nice, so I might come back and get Boris too, and uh, take Boris out for the show. So, all right, uh, let's pull out. <clears throat> we'll get out. <coughs> oh, too early in the morning. I still got goo in my throat. <laughs> we'll get out. We'll get out here and. Uh, get out here and get ready for him to be here soon. And um, this thing's pretty freaking heavy on this trailer, let me tell you. She's got a bit of a bit of weight to her, so we'll. Uh, well, I'm gonna go to tow haul mode, but we don't really need that. Uh, turn that off. Is that off? Yep. Put the nav screen on. I'm gonna just test out my brakes here. Oh yeah, apparently they're working good. <laughs> Find the road here. And we will post Paul park out here. Now I should probably take off the uh that cover off the exhaust. I think that'd be a good idea. Shut off the money. We're ready. He's pulling out. He's got all his stuff in there. And we'll see him out there. Oh, he's got a bunch of cool stuff in there. And we'll have to watch him do that stuff. It's pretty neat. <clears throat> Won't tell you quite yet what it is, but uh, most of you should. Most of you should probably know. But anyways, definitely some weight. <laughs> And this tractor, my goodness, it's heavy. Brakes are a little sticky. Anyways, let's head her out. TSC show, first show of the year. For us, anyways. We're arriving at the TSC. Outside of town. And there's one, two guys here already. So that's kind of cool. I think there's going to be another AR here, too. I don't know its particulars, what year it is and stuff. But um, that's going to be kind of cool to compare. I'll probably have to park beside him if that's where he wants me. And I'm going to pull way over to the other side of this parking lot and get unloaded here. Oh, I do see another AR there. That's pretty cool. And, 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 and we'll find a spot to park and get her unloaded. Those... Uh, Drain valve cock thingies, whatever you call them. I'll turn some gas on here. You guys have seen this a lot. I always unhook the battery. Just because. Just because. Because you never know, right? You should actually unhook your battery on everything when you park it. Because, oh, that one didn't work too well. Uh, because, because, 
Um, okay, so make sure we're out of gear. Get those all open. That should be good to go. Boy, this thing's all covered in pollen. Ugh. That's not so nice. Let's get her over here. We'll get her parked. Should be awesome. Hope nobody gets in the way, like, you know, this person perhaps. Right beside the other area, we'll show you those all in a minute. I'm gonna run home and get Boris loaded up, and bring him home too. So, fold up the tailgate and let's go. Okay, let's go home and get Boris. Boris. We loaded it up just out here for you guys as well. I could have loaded it at the garage there, but, but no, we'll drive them up and load them up here. All right, so I gotta go down first gear and uh, should crawl right up here, I am hoping. And if you haven't seen or bet Boris yet, you're in for a bit of a treat. A lot of you already have, but some of you haven't. So we'll put most of the weight about there, maybe. That ought to do it. All right, I got the flags. He said, bring the flags. Okay, <laughs> let me get off of here and I'll show you. Boris, if you haven't seen Boris before, Boris is an, a 1952 8N Ford tractor converted with a flathead. 1952 um, flathead engine. Of course, there's four on both sides. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, boy, what else can I tell you about this? There's so much to this. My stepdad built this thing quite a few years ago. That paint's 25 odd years old on it now. Uh, these actually go in this front holder here, but we'll put them in the truck. And uh, yeah, there's, you know, wish he had done videos when he was doing this it would have been kind of interesting but <laughs> anyway so yeah 1952 Ford 8N tractor it was a pretty good tractor uh, when it was a used tractor farm tractor it was all everything was tight still he was really looking for a good one right so tight as I mean all the linkages and stuff were good and uh, these get really wore out here on the three-point hitches so they were all good too you know when, when they're being plowed with they're really wore out but uh, yeah we got a tire on tie them on 
him on. Sorry, Boris. I didn't mean to insult you calling you her. Holy cow. So I'll just uh, put some strappies down and then the chain on the back again. All right, Boris is all tied down. I think Boris weighs about half the weight of that AR. There's a lot of metal in this too. This engine, I think, adds about 400 pounds, uh, roughly. So, but I think the AR definitely got a lot more cast in it and it's really heavy, but this isn't quite so bad. So, uh, let's just check these flappery guys. It should be, should be all right to stay there. Oh, well, maybe we'll just take them off. Rain caps. Okay, let's, uh, Head her out and we'll find a parking spot for Boris. Better put in the flags. One, two, and three. All right. Uh, should be pretty good. They're gonna go all over the place anyways, but let's go find a parking spot. All right, so if you don't know, we have a foot throttle here too, and the hand throttle. We got a foot throttle too, so that's kind of cool. All right. Oh, it's so much lighter driving this one. <laughs> that other one is so bloody heavy. But anyways, I'm gonna maybe go park this. Well, my stepdad set up there in the next parking spot. It's a handicapped spot. I don't really know if I wanna park there. I'll maybe go park right beside the AR or something, but they'll probably tell me I'll have to move that. Anyways, let's go find a spot. That's a pretty cool setup. That belt works good, eh? That belt works good. Yeah, really good. Fantastic. Wooden pulley. That's pretty neat. Three-quarter horsepower. This is out of a, an old lawnmower from early, early 1900s. And he's got his homemade custom belt tensioning system here. That's pretty cool. Works good. Up to the cart. That's pretty cool. Oh, even a customization there. Oh, wait. <laughs> Keeps her perfectly level, even. That's pretty funny. Nice. <laughs> inch by inch, she pushes out a bail. You gotta wait till uh, this board, one of these, gets down to here, and then he'll put this one in. It's pretty cool.
I think you can press about 10 and lose 20 though. That's the problem. <laughs> a lot you lose on the ground, but you can put her back through again. Yeah. Where are we? We've got to get to here. Got a little bit left. Oh, that was a good push. Oh, yes, it is. Down the chute. This big push coming here will push that guy out. Oh, it's just hanging by a thread. There she goes. And you'd stack that up on the thing. All kinds of them. Sweet. This block's going to fall out here. And how soon? Soon. Soon. Close enough. <laughs> All right. I think you're about ready for your next guy there. We'll do the magic. little guy comes out, you can tie this bale up. Guy, I can clear him a bit of space there for the next round. That is so SMRT. <laughs> Through the other side. Beauty. other side here there's a whole bunch of gears yeah. over here too pretty cool yeah uh -huh. that's right in that's that in okay I want to pull the wrong one through that'd be bad Yeah. 
Shut her down. That works pretty good. Wow, this is quite the truck. Or look at this. Hmm. Got all kinds of stuff back here. Pretty cool. So there's two John Deere ARs sitting here. Mm-hmm. I can see his is definitely the right color, and this one is definitely not the right color now. Look at the difference of that, eh? It's a lot darker green. I think someone mixed up paint when they painted this one of mine and uh, didn't quite get the paint right, but I've got the right paint, I think, on this guy here. Definitely. But the rest is not right. Might do paint job. I don't know. <coughs> Very interesting. Uh, this is the other one. Oh, he's got some carbonator leaks too here, I see. Uh oh. Yeah, it's definitely leaking. Hmm, nicer tires. Ooh. I have to get those. <laughs> His brake's almost to the bottom, too. Needs some adjustment. Pretty much the exact same, except I don't have that sticker there. Interesting. He's got his shutters working. I don't even have that on mine. Hmm. I don't know where it is his. Well, that one's nice and tight. Wow, mine's f crazy floppy. Okay, let's compare this. Ready? There's that one nice and tight. Maybe he's got bushings in it. Compared to this one, which I haven't switched yet. <laughs> it's wore right out. Nice. Sweet. Oh, and he's got the headlights too. Nice, nice. Those could go right here. I have the bolts for them. At least someone was nice enough to put the bolts back in. That kind of holds the top of the radiator on too, but pretty cool. Says. Got her set? <laughs> That's a good idea.
thinks it's going to start raining, so he's going to head her out. That started like the battery's almost dead. Yeah, it did. Kind of... Yeah. Yeah. You know, if it starts easy. Yeah. It's got the same flathead in that truck as in my 8N uh, tractor. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Probably go just about as fast too. <laughs> Ford tractor with the high speed in it. Does about 70 70 kilometers an hour. Still got throttle on it too. It's kinda kinda fast with little skinny tires, but yeah. <laughs> speed wobble. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you're the losing her. <laughs> I guess they're heading home. There we go. Well, there's rain coming, so we're gonna take Boris home. Wasn't too many uh, club members show up today, only about five of us, and that's it. Out of like 100, and 100 I guess, anyways. So, that's not so good, but we'll load them back up, take them home, put them back inside, cover them up, <laughs> and uh, next time, Take them out and go to the next show, which is actually next weekend. If it doesn't rain, I'll take this one, but if it does, well, I'm not gonna. So, anyhow. We will have to go to first gear when we get there. Should take this up to the racetrack to the quarter mile high banked oval. That'd be awesome. Imagine having this flip over and roll into the wall. <laughs> that wouldn't be so nice. Oh geez, just about pulled the truck back about four inches there. All right, shut her down. Let's tie her on, we'll take her home. I don't know if you can see in the mirror, but he's all loaded, ready to go. I'll take him home and uh, we'll unload him in front of the house, I guess. Well, really, there's no point in really unloading in front of the house just to drive it 10 feet through the gate and then have to shut the camera off, right? So I'll probably just take him right down in and uh, put him back inside. So uh, and then we'll be back out for the AR and I think the AR I'm gonna probably leave on the trailer for this week because I do have another show if I can make it next saturday it's actually at a fair the first fair around here is already going on it's like a sort of a early summer spring late spring fair so uh, we'll be going to that one if i can get the day off and nothing comes in that needs to be done we'll say so uh but anyways i'll run him home and then uh, we'll come back for uh alex russell ar so there's an old guy there in our club that uh, is John Deere green like you wouldn't believe. He probably poops green. He's got so much John Deere stuff. He's got a couple of those ARs and uh, I got him because he's so knowledgeable. I got him to listen to uh, my AR run and because I'm concerned about that pop, 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 pop noise as it's running, right? Like you hear that bang, 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 but not the uh, pop, pop, pop. about that noise when he glasses on. Don't worry about that popping noise. All it is is the exhaust pipe. Because of the shortness of the pipe, I don't know if you noticed in the video, but the other AR that was there had the longer pipe. And uh, apparently they, I can't remember exactly which way he said it now, but they had both pipes and they kept, they sold you a smaller pipe for orchard work. Shorter pipe, which mine has. Now that other air had a pipe that was probably seven or eight inches taller and his didn't make any noise like that at all. No popping like that at all. He says, no, that's just the pipe doing that. If you put that that big pipe on, you wouldn't get that problem. So I'm like, well, I don't, there's nothing, it doesn't we're gonna hurt nothing. He's like, no, don't worry about that. That's, uh, you know, whatever. And he also sent him to, I can't exactly remember what it was now, but something about, John Deere did away with one of the two pipes and they're kind of rare to get one find one that's still in good shape uh, like that so uh, I don't know which one it was now I can't remember 
it's probably that tall one actually i guess they probably sold all the short ones but uh anyways we're heading out to pick him up now and like i said i'm gonna leave him on the trailer because we have uh potentially i have another show to go to next weekend if the weather is good for one and um if i can get the day off so it's been busy of course you know for me back here so i might not get that day off but who knows but anyways let's go pick him up well there's not much left for tractors <laughs> his engine's on the trailer still i see a nice john deere ar sitting there though maybe we better load that one up and take it home i think that's a good idea oh, i'm gonna go back over to the corner load up over here because then i can drive it a little bit on a little bit of asphalt so there we go we'll load her up and take her home let's open up the tabs the other one's already open fuel's on sure she's in new trail give her a bit of throttle just until it kind of pulls it off the, like about there that should do her and uh i'm gonna need two hands here <laughs> basically he said and then put the cotter pin back in don't go too much because it'll over tighten it and it'll just run all the time <laughs> he's pretty knowledgeable this guy so oh we could get into some mud down there oh, oh, oh. no not doing that not doing that Come on, there we go. fantastic having brakes I enjoy it all right mr. AR is loaded oh it's getting hot out here one day it's raining and crappy and freezing cold and now it's like stupid hot and really humid and, oh Canada mm. oh but this has nice AC in it ah, I like AC when it's hot out so we'll crank that fella up come on don't be doing that to me there we go anyways load it up I'm just gonna leave it on the trailer as I mentioned because uh, potentially I can get to another show next week I might actually take it off the trailer but leave it up there a couple of things I want to try to do to it this week as well coming up potentially look at that uh, air cleaner oil bath air cleaner uh, what else was there aren't too bad now maybe adjust that clutch in one castellation on all three 
try that out and see if it helps. That's what he said is don't over tighten it. Don't go any more than one. One castellation put the cotter pin back in. <laughs> I'll show you that when we get to it though. I uh, wouldn't mind actually spraying a bunch of brake cleaner in there too because it is a bit kind of grimy. Uh, but I asked him too about the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, about the uh, crankshaft seals. And he's like, well, unless it's really dripping and leaking a whole lot, it's not really worth doing. Because they're just a cork gasket. He says, I've made cork gaskets before and they'll leak again anyways. So it's not really like a you know seal like we're used to nowadays, right? It's a cork gasket, he says in there. So uh, I guess it's maybe thicker. I don't know. I didn't look at it, but... I guess uh, for all the trouble it is to get it out, it's really not worth tearing apart. So, because you gotta take both tires off, so part of it underneath, take both rear tires off to get all the clutches and stuff out, and then the flywheel off because it's all in the way, right? So, but anyway, that's it for today. I guess we'll head her home and, uh, whoo, day's over, three o'clock already. Holy cow, we left there at eight o'clock, you know, and a lot of people came and, you know, looked at our stuff, and uh, off we go again. So, but anyways, we'll catch you all later. You guys have a good day, and thanks for watching. Oh, we're getting new curbs and sidewalks. Forgot to tell you, and they're going to repave our road here, too, which is good because it's falling apart. <laughs> Anyways, made her home. All good. I don't know if I'd really want to travel too, 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 too far with this tractor on this trailer with these size of tires. I think you need a little bigger tra trailer. But for, like, eight minutes it takes me to get to TSC, uh, that's not too bad. I will go and test some tire. Oh, I should probably back in here. Oh, bother. I came in the wrong way. That's all right. I don't mind. I can move it. <laughs> now, I know he's going to bring his stuff here too, but I'll probably get him to back in and over there maybe. So I'm going to try to back down to my trail here a little bit. And hopefully that's cleared him enough room. I'm uh, probably not going to feel tire pressure, tire, tire temperatures now because uh, it'll be uh, cold driving on the gravel here now, bro. I know he's all get her backed in here. Hopefully, I don't put her down over the edge. That would suck. Go almost down over the edge. I actually got turned around in the yard here. It wasn't really too bad. A couple of, you know, doop, 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 but hey, that'll work on my reclaimed backyard, we'll call it. This is all stuff from digging, of course, right? Dump it here. Works good. Holds up the tractor. Uh, okay, so first thing I want to do, because it's supposed to rain tonight, really good, apparently. Like, possibly dangerous tornadic weather. By the feel of it, take because it's so humid. It's not a good setup. So, hopefully the AR is already here. Put his lid on, and I do want to unhook this battery cable. Oh, you can really see the color difference in the pollen from all the trees. Should always, now I don't do it myself, but you should always, always, always unhook at least one cable. Yeah, that needs a little bit of revamping. But anyways, there we go. AR is home. Sweet. And I'll uh, wait until he uh, unloads his stuff, and then I'll probably pull ahead and pull it off. But um, I don't know. I might leave it on there, too. I don't know. But I'll probably probably back it down there so it's sort of out of the way. It's too visual right here. Right? Everybody can see everything. So, But anyways, there we go. That's it for today. Thanks again for watching. And catch you all later. And you guys have a good day. And hopefully you enjoyed that tractor show. Not much of a show, but disappointing you know when you have like a hundred members in a club and there's only six of us there it's not too very dedicated I think people just come for the social part of it as in the dinners and the meetings like the actual physical meetings we go to and any of the shows they never show up for so I'm like crazy but anyways thanks again catch us all later and you guys have a good day